This is Win News. Tonight, victims' families relieved as Attorney General appeals rapist teacher's sentence. Farmers furious as $2 billion gas project gets the green light. And Michael Katsidis vows to honour his brother in the ring. Good evening, I'm James O'Shea. Finally, some relief for the families of 13 Toowoomba schoolgirls who were sexually assaulted and raped by their teacher, Jared Vincent Burns. The Attorney General has announced he will appeal the 10-year sentence handed down to Burns, which could have seen him back on our streets within just six years. Two multi-billion dollar coal seam gas projects have been given the green light by Federal Environment Minister Tony Burke. Angry farmers are furious at the decision, claiming it will devastate underground aquifers across the Surat Basin. The fight against a 100% fly-in and fly-out mining workforce at Moorinbar has been taken to another level. The community's action group today flew to Brisbane in the hope of getting their voice heard. Sustainability is the hot topic as commercial fishermen from across the state gather for their annual general meeting. While facing significant challenges, the Queensland Seafood Industry Association says it's focused on coexisting with the reef and the environment. Moist soil in cane paddocks in Mackay from recent rain has created a haven for weeds to thrive. Experts say allowing the uncontrolled growth of nut grass will result in a reduction of cane growth. As the Mackay Regional Council by-election draws near, we introduce you to the last of the candidates. Contenders say their policies, if brought to the table, will maintain sustainable growth of the region into the future. Stay with Wynn after the break, a research first for Cairns and meet the rarest pig in the world. Welcome back, you're watching Wynn's Late News. A team of deep sea divers and scientists have set out to discover never before seen creatures of the ocean's depths. Using state of the art underwater technology, the research is the first of its kind for the area. Rare breeds of all kinds are on show at this year's Pet Expo at the Toowoomba Showgrounds. Children will even have the opportunity to get up close and personal with some little piglets that are ten times rarer than a panda bear. Well, sports up next and Michael Katsidis vows to fight with the spirit of his brother and Roger Milne chases a Cox Plate dream. You're watching Wins Late News, time for sport now and Michael Katsidis' world title bout against Juan Manuel Marquez will go ahead as scheduled on November 27. Katsidis broke his silence today via a press release saying the fight will go on and he will do it for Starthy, his family and himself. Michael described Starthy as his closest friend and his inspiration in life. The boxer believes that he will be with him in spirit when he enters the ring for the biggest fight of his career. Starthy Katsidis will be farewelled on Tuesday at the Baptist Community Church in Toowoomba. And let's stay with racing and for the inside info, here's the man that knows all the winners, Ian Joblin. Well folks, good evening. It's Cox Plate Day tomorrow. We're only a week and a half away from Melbourne Cup Day. The race that stops the nation. We look forward to your company out here at Early for the big day. Well folks, if you're having a punt tomorrow, best of luck for Win News, Ian Joblin. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Ian, and uh, so you think that certainly is an opinion shared by many, but we'll find out tomorrow at Mooney Valley. That's the night in sports. Stay with us after the break. We'll have all the weekend weather details. Good evening and thanks for joining us for this Wind News Late Edition weather briefing. Well, the weekend is finally upon us and you can expect some isolated showers all the way up the Queensland coast for Saturday morning. Today's chart shows a high with centre pressure 1,027 hectopascals. Now that's in the southern uh, Tasman Sea and extends a ridge up the Queensland coast, which is producing very isolated showers, a little bit more activity in the far north, particularly around Cairns. A weak trough is triggering some shower and thunderstorm activity in the southwest corner of Queensland. There's some cloud off the Queensland coast and that brought some uh, rain north of about Rockhampton um, overnight, but it's since moved off the coast. Uh, by Sunday, an upper level trough will amplify and sweep across New 
New South Wales and southern Queensland and uh, consequently you can expect an uh, associated rain band to move across southern districts. But for now let's take a look at temperatures statewide for tomorrow starting in the north once again. Cairns will reach 29 degrees, same with Townsville, 17 to 30 for Charters Towers, uh, top of 29 for Rockhampton, 17 to 27 for Gladstone. Uh, sunny conditions abound for tomorrow. Bundaberg 16 to 28, a minimum of 15 for Maroochydore. Bit of a rain activity, a shower or two for Dolby and Toowoomba. Uh, Dolby reaching a uh, quite a warm 28 degrees. Now that is the late weather wrap. You make sure you enjoy your weekend. And now it's back to James. Thanks, Corinne, and join us on Monday night for the best hour of news from 6 p.m. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation from Win Television, Australia's largest commercial television network.